Yo, what's up, guys? It's Zavi Sassy, and welcome back to another episode of my talk show, Things I Talk About Because I Want to Talk About Them. Now, today's topic is brought to you by my friend John. He wanted to talk about food, so here we are. Now, it is a very relatable topic as we all eat food. You stupid! And food comes in many different shapes, sizes, and categories. Your diet should always be balanced, but today I'm going to be telling you my favorite meals, and some of them aren't really balanced. So I just realized a lot of these rankings were blocked by my webcam, so just listen. Okay, hey guys, we are now on my computer desktop where we will be ranking breakfast. Okay, starting off with bacon. It can either be a solid A or solid B, not gonna lie. But most of the time, it's a a, a B tier, it's a B tier. Now, cream cheese with bagel. Now, if you haven't had this for a long time, this smacks. Like, it's so good. That's an A tier for me. Cereal. That's just, uh, like an average. So I'm gonna say C tier. Croissant, which from like any uh, fast food restaurants, that's a that's an A tier. Donuts, automatic D tier. Th- th- those are nasty, nasty. Anyways, eggs, uh, uh, hard B tier. Might be A, but I think it belongs in B. Filipino red hot dog. Now, as you guys know, actually, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm Filipino, and these are so good. They belong in the A tier. I might move those up later though. French toast. This is so good. S tier, S tier, S tier. Garlic rice. Alright, this makes your breath stink. But it is so good. A tier. Ham. B tier with bacon. Actually, I might move bacon to A. No. No. No, I say that. Okay, this is another Filipino food. It's called longanisa. It's like a sweet sausage. And I don't really enjoy it as much as before. So I'm gonna say a B tier. Oatmeal. Now, it depends on how you make it, what the flavor is. But I'm gonna say a solid. Solid B. Omelet. S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier. Whenever you go to hotels and they have an omelet maker or someone has a chef, S tier. Pancakes. A tier. It speaks for itself. Potatoes. For me, they're A, bro. They smack. Sausage, bro. Bro, I'm sorry, but I don't like these. Those are S, C tier. Not sorry, C tier. Now, smoothies. I've actually only had this for breakfast like two times. And it's actually pretty good, but kind of basic. So I'm going to say B tier. Spam. Spam, eggs, and rice. Bussin. S tier. Toast, average, I say C tier. Waffles, B tier. Okay, that will do for the breakfast section. Before I move on to the lunch section, we'll be interviewing my friend on what their favorite breakfast is. Welcome to Saucy Interviews. Okay, I might actually cut out for this interview, but I will add subtitles. Robert. I don't usually eat breakfast. But I think the best breakfast food item is cinnamon toast crunch. Like, that's the best item. Uh, I don't know. It's just good. You put you put milk in it, and then it's good. It's like perfect to start off the day. Approved. Hmm. I guess a stack of pancakes. I can't really eat a full like stack. Huh? Okay, so we're now moving on to lunch. Now, this is a kind of a complicated topic because I can be rating dinner foods or lunch foods according to what you're feeling. So I just picked a handful of foods and I'm gonna save some foods for dinner. Okay, starting off with chicken adobo. That's a Filipino food or I think it also can be a Mexican food. I don't know, but from from the Filipino adobo, it's an easy A tier, it's really good. All right, cheeseburger. Uh, it kind of depends where you're getting it from, but I think the In-N-Out cheeseburger is an easy A tier. Burrito, it's the, I mean, the Super Burrito, sorry. It has so much flavor, S tier, easily, easily. You, you, you already know. Really? Corn dog? Okay, I'm just kidding. Now, for me, it's a C tier, honestly. 
because I just don't think it deserves that much hype. Now, corned beef. This is really good. B tier. I don't think it's an A tier, but I think it's a solid B tier. French fries. Now, just regular French fries is still pretty good. So I say B tier. But garlic fries, that's an easy A tier. So good. Uh, gyro, or I don't know how to swear. I don't know how to pronounce it. Giro, gyro. I'm sorry. But it's an easy B tier for me. I really like it. Hot dog. Now, the ones at Costco are really good. So I say B tier. Jolly B chicken. A tier. Non and curry. Now, I don't know. This is just what I've been eating when I like go to the mall and there's like non and curry. And I just think this is really good. I think that's an S tier. It's just, it's straight up bussin. Popeye's chicken, A tier. I don't think it's an S tier yet. Ramen for me, I don't really enjoy ramen that much. So I'd say B tier. Uh, tacos, street tacos, B tier for me. And this is another Filipino food, Tocino. Uh, I'd say B tier. Finishing off lunch, we are doing another interview. Welcome to Saucy Interviews. Alright guys, so today we are back with John. He is at the mall. And today's question yeah. is, um, what is your favorite lunch item? Macaroni. Why? Because it's cheesy uh, and creamy. What do you mean by that? <laughs> okay, uh, what is your least favorite food item? Cucumber. Why? It sucks. Now, what I think is the best meal of the day dinner starting off with brisket it's a s tier yeah yeah it's so good so good all right coming at number two chicken katsu easy a tier it's like they, these dinner items are so good okay crab legs now it depends whether it's like snow crab is like the thin one i don't really like that one i kind of like the meaty ones so this is the meaty one the picture that i chose so easy a tier Lobster, I'm sorry, but I like crab better. It's a B tier. Mac and cheese, I don't really like cheese that much. But it depends whether it's really good. But I'd say it's a C tier for me. Uh, Sinigang, this is a uh, Filipino food again. It's really good, but I think it's just an A tier for me, honestly. I, I forgot to put salad at lunch. But if you eat salad and, and you're not vegetarian... I'm just kidding. I don't really like salad. Uh, it's a D tier for me. Sorry. Sashimi. Really good. A tier. Uh, Cajun boiled shrimp. S tier. So good. You, you guys need to try it if you just have it. Nalaga. So good. S tier. Actually, no, wait. That's Sinikang. We put that at A tier. This is uh, Nalaga. That's S tier. Spaghetti. It depends. Um, Italian spaghetti. I don't really like that much, but Filipino spaghetti, I like that. But this one right here is Italian spaghetti, and that's a C tier for me. Steak. Medium rare, S tier. Yeah! Sushi, A tier. Okay, so I kind of got tired of making up templates for every meal. But now we're moving on to the dessert. Starting off at number one is white chocolate. Now, this is kind of underrated, but I still think it's average, so B tier. Popsicles, B tier, average, chocolate chip cookies, S tier, who doesn't like that? Um, M&M cookies, below average, C tier, chocolate, B tier, Cook these cookies, B tier, Oreo ice cream, that's an A tier, ice cream sandwich, has to be an S tier, like, it's the best of both worlds. Strawberry ice cream. C tier for me, sorry. Oreo, B tier, average. Donuts, D tier, get out of my face. Um, there's more m, &M cookies. Bruh. That's a C tier. Candy, D tier, who, who eats that for dessert? Fun Freddy cake, B tier. Sugar cookies, C tier. These are raisin cookies. Those are D smack. Honestly, don't. A tier. Yeah. Now, if I had to add some, I'm gonna add some. Uh, peach mango pie from Jollibee. That's A tier right there. I mean, sorry, S tier. 
a brownie S tier. As you can see, I like a lot of food and not all of them are balanced, but I do work out a lot, so I might be fine. Maybe or may not. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, then please leave a like and please subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and stay saucy.